Hi, I'm Thaddeus, a student here at Lamar University. If you're anything like I was in high school, you're probably a little confused by this whole college thing. But don't worry, I'm here to help. I'll introduce you to the experts at Lamar who can tell you everything you need to know about beginning your college career. Let's get started in the recruitment office. It's located in the Wimberley Building. This is Maggie, the Director of Recruitment, who helps students see all the great opportunities waiting for them at Lamar. So Maggie, how would someone become a Lamar student? Well Thaddeus, once you've decided on Lamar University, there are three easy steps to officially becoming a student. First, you need to fill out an admissions application online through the Texas Statewide Application System. You'll find a link at beacardinal.com, the webpage for future Lamar University students. Second, you need to take the SAT or ACT and have your score sent to Lamar University. Your high school counselor and Lamar's Career and Testing Center will have information on when and where the test will be given, or you can find links at beacardinal.com to learn more. Finally, you need to have your high school send an official copy of your transcript to Lamar University. Talk to your high school counselor about having one copy right away and another final transcript sent after you graduate. It's that easy. If you have special circumstances or need more information, give us a call at 409-880-8316 or schedule a time to come talk to us in Wimberley 203. We'd be glad to help. Thanks, Maggie. Now that we know how to get into college, we better figure out how to pay for it. Our next stop is the financial aid office. You might think I'm joking, but that's actually one of your options. Most students at Lamar use some mix of scholarships, grants, loans, and work study to help cover the cost of their education. Work study means an on-campus job to help you pay the bills. Let's find out more. The cost of college might seem daunting, but there's lots of help available. For free money that you won't have to pay back, be sure to apply for scholarships. Most Lamar University scholarships are awarded based on academic merit. You'll find a link to the application at beacardinal.com. Many outside organizations offer scholarships as well based on academic or other factors. So do your research, ask your counselor, go online, see what you can find. Grants are another type of aid that you won't have to pay back. You might also be eligible for student loans, which you will have to pay back, or the work-study program, which gives you a chance to earn money for college. Qualifying for grants, loans, and work-study is easy. Just follow these five steps. All you need to remember is free application for federal student aid, or what we call the FAFSA. F. Fill out your FAFSA application online. A. Add our school code 003581 so the Department of Education sends Lamar an electronic copy. F. Follow the instructions in your missing information letter that we'll mail you and turn in any required documentation. S. See your award status online. And A. Accept your awards online and if you accept loans, follow the instructions for completing your loan documents. You'll find links to the online FAFSA application at BACardinal.com. If you have any questions along the way, stop by our office in Wimberley 216 or give us a call at 409-880-7011. We'll be glad to help. Don't wait too long. Scholarship applications should be submitted by February 1st. Many grants, free money that you won't have to pay back, are awarded on a first-come, first-served basis. The FAFSA and Additional Documentation Priority Deadline for Financial Aid is April 1st. Thanks for stopping by. We hope to see you soon. Wow, that was a lot of good information, but it's a lot to remember, so I thought I'd review. That's something you get plenty of practice doing in college. So the main ideas are, apply for scholarships and fill out your free application for federal student aid online, your FAFSA. Here are the links you'll need. Feel free to hit pause if you need to write them down. I won't go too far. So now you're ready to apply for admissions into Lamar University. You know what it takes to get scholarships and financial aid. But what else do you need to know before the first day of classes? Just a few things. Before attending orientation and registering for classes, all incoming freshmen must take a Texas Success Initiative Assessment Test. 
The only exception for this is for students who have high enough standardized test scores. The assessment test will determine whether or not the student will need to take developmental classes in certain areas before registering for college level work. The test may be scheduled through Lamar's Career and Testing Center. Check beacardinal.com or call 409-880-8878 for more details. Next, plan to attend an orientation session during the summer. It's required for all new students. Orientation allows you to meet with an academic advisor, register for classes, and get to know fellow students. You'll find a link at, you guessed it, vacardinal.com. Or you can call the Office of New Student Programs at 409-880-8085 for more information. Still have questions? Just ask. The friendly recruiters here will be glad to help you take all the right steps toward becoming a Lamar University student. You can reach the Office of Recruitment at 409-880-8316. Thanks for watching. See you on campus.